Okay, Mara. New at 11, Celine's mayor is now speaking out against racial tension in the city. I know, and I know this from the bottom of my heart, Selinians are strong, and together, together, we can make things better. This comes after multiple racial incidents in the past week. Earlier tonight, hundreds gathered downtown for peace rally. Larry Spruill is live in Celine with their message. Larry, good evening. Good evening, Kimberly. This small town is in the national spotlight, but not for a very good reason. And the mayor addressed the racial tension here. He simply says it would not be tolerated. And the people here back him up 100 percent. Hundreds packed downtown Celine, relaying a message they wanted the world to hear. They wrote it boldly on signs while marching throughout downtown Celine for a peace rally. No to racism. Hate has no home here, and racism wrong. Any racism is outnumbered 10 to 1 easy. Alex Jasmine won the many in the crowd walking up and down Michigan Avenue Wednesday night. Evan Thomas also outraged and saddened by the racial tension in the city. We've, we've had a looming problem here in Saline for a long time, and um, something said the last school board meeting kind of reflected that. The school district held a meeting on Monday after addressing racist comments by high school students on social media about black football players. But the meeting quickly turned ugly when a parent was interrupted while talking about his kids being mistreated. Then why didn't you stay in Mexico? <laughs> Wednesday, Celine's mayor, Brian Morrow, addressed the crowd. He had this to say about the latest incidents. Racism and bigotry of any form, in any form, will not be given quarter in Celine. It will not be accepted and it will not be ignored. And the mayor also tells me that the turnout for it tonight simply shows the true meaning of the people's heart here. We're live tonight, Larry Spruill. Local 4. Larry, I am wondering, though, any updates about the parent who said those hateful comments? And yeah, Kimberly, I asked a lot of people that same question. They simply said that they have not heard from him since that meeting, and they really don't know where he is right now. Kimberly? Okay, Larry, thanks for the update.